Steven, my man, how we doing? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. It's the financial for last season. I know after our Scottish Cup semi. So anything more getting pumped into the club this year? Uh huh. Right. So we're focusing on more youth stuff. Perfect. Does that mean we're getting a new youth facility? Okay. No. No. Still using the bank. How about a training facility? Okay, yeah, I understand completely. How about going professional? No, yeah. No, no, I understand. You give me more wage budget and transfer budget, that was amazing. Yeah, I know I've not really used it because I thought, you know, save some of it back for a rainy day. <laughs> yeah, I know we've been linked to a big takeover. Is it Saudi? Saudi oil man? No? Alright. Um. Yeah, just more the same as last season. Yeah, cool. Right, uh, you got a little bit of go talk to the fans. Yeah, you're right, I'm only one away from 50 as it is. So if I get one more person subscribed, what are you going to do? Interesting. That'll be a secret though. Yeah. Right, Stephen, my man, I will catch you later on. Okay, bye-bye. Hello, boys and girls. Sorry, just had the chairman of the board on the phone there. How are we all doing? <coughs> I'm doing well. Um, So, welcome back. Um, I hope... Some of you are here from the hype train, so I hope some of you are here from uh, me and Marvin Bartley's exchanges. I just hope some of you are here in general for some brilliant football manager content. Well, I say brilliant, it's me. But you know, above average at best football manager content. So, before we kick off today, do a few little things, okay? I'm going to hedge up with you over the summer transfers so far, because obviously it's still going from today in August. Going to catch up with the fixtures that we've played. Um, Gonna play Airdrie, I believe it is today. Once again. And is there a fourth thing? No, there's not a fourth thing. Just those three things. So that's transfer uh, fixtures, transfers. Yeah. In the game. Is that order what we're doing? Yeah. No, 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 no. Transfers then fixtures. Cause I've got some world days. Right. See you in a sec. Right, so let's try to start with the house. We have lost Lucas to Queen's Park on loan. Rob Blair has returned to Partick with him with Nagy, who was at Dumbarton one last season. Then Nuhu and Indijol, who you didn't see because he came in, he got injured and then disappeared basically. They went away to Queen's Park on loan. And then our centre back from last year, Jorge Rodriguez, was sold off to Porto. I had bids from Rangers, Hearts, bunch of Teams in the tier above, and I was praying that he went to Porto. Just praying because I didn't want to see him come back and haunt us in any cups or that this year, eh? So, you're in the Porto, I was like, happy days. And then the following are all loans Stephen Osuvu, who is a summer signing from Airdrie, youngster. Jose Lafurber, who is another summer signing, who was a free, I believe, or if that's the guy I'm thinking of. Yes, it was. Samuel Radlinger has left us. He's finally left us. We had no use for him. Chris McIntyre went on loan to Partick, so they've taken a few other players. Gary Carson's went away to Bournemouth. And Antonio Carlini, who is our young Canadian um, Italian signing goalkeeper, he's went away on loan as well. Pretty standard stuff. So, what have we brought in? Well, Wadham and McGinn have both come back on loans. We brought in Graham Breen, former of Aberdeen. So, he looks pretty good. Brought in Peter Dow, former Dungeon United. Osuwu, who you've seen us put on loan. Young Ghanaian, 17 years old, looks really interesting. Chris McIntyre on loan. Um, sorry, he's at Hibs, he's on loan to Partick. Cole McKinnon, just another good centre midfielder. Proud, we brought him back on loan. Pat O'Hughes is a new goalkeeper. Found him, I thought, well, he's worth a punt. Looks alright, from Worthing. We've got Josh Okacho. He is a replacement for Rodriguez, centre back wise. Luis Miguel Garcia is a 21 year old Ecuadorian who is at Clyde. I thought, why no? It's unique. Luis Kinsella is a former Manchester United youth player. Yay. He was out for free, so I thought, why no? Brought him in, he looked alright. Um, next up is Jose Lafarbar, Swiss. He's away on loan to. Once again, now we've got our Croatian Sandro Jesinovic, who's our striker who will be challenging Wanjo. He's got 10 finishing, 15 first touch, and 12 dribbling. I like him. And finally, Alain Nampatu. Nampatu. He is Belgian, 
Now he's another striker. He can play with a field, even though he doesn't say that. He's only got eight finishing, but do you know what? It's young and fit grows if he plays enough games. And that's the way I'm seeing it. Right, let's get you over to the fixtures and let's catch up with him. Okay, so we didn't start off with our traditional Dalkeith game this year. No, no, we started off with Spartans instead. Um, in our old stadium, we bet the um, 3 0. We then played Heston, sorry, Heaton Stunnington. And we went in 4 0. We then went over to Ireland and played Kelvin OB. We went in 5 1. And now the Betfred Cup started. First game, we drew 2 all but won on penalties. We then beat Falkirk 2 1. We then beat Dumbarton 2 1. We then had a friendly against Aston Villa. We beat Stranor 2 1. And we, bet, and we drew with Bromby 1 0. So both our major. Um, Preseason friendlies against Bromby and against Villa. They weren't sellouts, which is unfortunate. However, we got good results at them. We want to see our um, Betfair Cup group because this is nice and interesting. So, we're through tonight from the Betfair Cup. We finished with 11 points, top of the table. Um, Falkirk finished in second. Livingston finished in third. So, the Premiership team didn't qualify. So, is that a omen? Is that a good sign for the season? Who knows? We'll soon find out. Um, right, I'm going to show you the league table because it's different from last season, but still at the same time, it's still interesting. Okay, much like we did last season, we'll go through this league alphabetically. Airdrie, Clyde, Dunfermline, Edinburgh City, Inverness, Kilmarnock, Morton, Motherwell, Queen of South, and Rafe. Four new teams have entered this league this year. I believe they are Inverness, Queen of South, Rafe, and Kamarnik from memory. Um, so, yeah, welcome to the League of Those Teams. Ross County, after convincingly beating us, were promoted last season, so hats off, well done, well done. Um, I'm going to show you the season preview. So, as you can see in the season preview, we've moved up to third favourites, which I like. Um, I'm guessing that's on our run in the Cup. Um, we've got Sam Greenwood in the 11th. Every now and then Lawrence goes in and comes out, he's in, out, in, out, he shakes it all about, really. Um, but yeah, so Morwell, our favourites to go up, but then Rafe, ourselves and Kamarnik, so I think if we got a good early running form, we should do well. That's how I'm seeing it. Well, let's go show you the team for today, as we play Airdrie. So, I'll tell you to skip the screen ahead because that can sometimes stall when you're waiting. The team we play Airdrie are, in goals, Pat Hughes. Well, that's what I'm calling him. Uh, left back McGinn, centre backs is still an Ochikoda, right backs Medina, defensive mid Wadham, Proud and Lawrence in the centre, Mariah Welsh and Greenwood on the wings, and up front is Wanjo. If they go anyone we recognise straight about, Cavana has caused us so much heartache over the years. Dino Ledi, Hogs, the guy I was looking at. Okay. On the bench, we have Hogarth, Dow, McKinnon, Yesenovic. Peyton, Coffey, and Breen. So I'd say we're pretty strong all over the place today, if I'm honest. Uh, passionate, so let's see. We all heard after last match. I think that's true, we all them after last match. Okay, uh, select all my players. And assertive list, because the first game, it's going to be assertive and say, I've got faith in you. The only person that wasn't really listening is Josh Okocha, formerly of West Ham. And they've got their own juice system, so I'll take that. Anyway, we've kicked off, and are we getting an early attack here? Nah, just nice and chill. <laughs> Not really happening. Um, so I'm quite impressed with my summer transfers. I was given a big... Um, oh, Mariah Well. Oh, I was given a big budget this year, so I was given 300 grand this year. But... There's no way I was going to spend that. I like free transfers. I like sniffing room for youngsters. Guys I can get for England on zero. So that's what I've done. Medina. One job. How did he miss an open goal? Like, for example, um, my goalkeeper, Hughes O'Brien, he was a free transfer. I cut you, free transfer. I think the only people that have cost me are youth transfers that I've brought in. And there's a few still getting lined up to come in. Um, but yeah, that's the only things that have cost me this summer is my youth transfers. I'd rather they cost me now than in the long run. It's like when I seen that guy from Queen's Park a few years back. Oh, Green was picked up on a loose ball. To absolutely no one. But he's picked up on it again. 
Lawrence. Wadham. Over the top. Proud as through. If you can just square it. No, no. It's out. Yeah, so that's what I like to do. I like to try and bring freeze. And we've got a corner. Whipped in and no one. Okoto. Kotcha, sorry. Okoto. My days, I've been bad at English today. Hughes. Stalin, but puts it still. Lawrence. Wadham. Lawrence. Cut out Menga. That's Dolly Menga. He causes me issues. I'm going to be seeing him in my nightmares. Cabana. Muffet. Brilliant. Medina. Nope. Wanjo's now got it. Wadham. Nope. Back four. Back four. It's like good tennis here. Uh, I'm going to just do an early shout of Get Creative. Because we want to start out a good couple of wins, I'd say. Um, that's the main aim. I would, I would think that it should be the main aim. Um, if we get points on the board early, it's fantastic. It means we can get away from other teams early. And I do what, I'm not going to say the P word, but that's what we'll be fighting for at the end of the season, because we deserve it. You don't go out and beat a Premiership team, do you know what I mean? Just because. No, we deserve it. Boof. No, it's being robbed anyway. Lawrence. Bursting down the wing. Pass any proud. Nope, a corner. Corner's going to get whipped in. Mariah Welsh picked this up. Whips it in proud. Oh. I've had a good few chances. Okay, right. I'm away. Rattle the boys' cages. Bear with me. I certainly say. Farfi, please, what I just saw. Medina, shut up. We did have a loan offer in for Lucas Shoes, and he's getting to that age now. Where I like, find he's only 23, but I'm like, mm, is he? Is he no? Is he all that, or is he not? And I'm starting to think with players. I'm going to see them starting in the Premier League. Well, the Premier League. Can I see them winning the Scottish Cup? Do you know what I mean? That kind of green we do. My aim this season is to do. Well, it's to get far in the Cups. I want to try and get far in the Tonics Wafer Cup. I want to get far in the Bait Fair Cup. And I want to get far in the Scottish Cup. Not just for money, but reputation goes flying with that. Proud. Back to Still. Over at McGinn. Right, Wells. Wadham. McGinn. Lawrence has got it. Oh, Brian Welsh has it back again. Greenwood picks it up. Is he on? He's on. Medina. Oh, for Medina. He's got it again. Ah. Yeah, so my aim is more. I want to get the P word, right? First and foremost. So go. But I also want to try and push for cups because at the end of the day, you're judged on what you win the cups, really. Just a winch is coming on there. Uh, you're coming off. Payton's coming on for you. I'm going to swap Payton with Lawrence. I'm bring back the Cariello. Payton was brilliant at. I'm just going to show you the man more and I'm going to go attacking, I think. Last half hour, let's go attacking, eh? What's the worst that can happen? Famous last words of every military general. Well, what's the worst that can happen if you attack over that field? Come on. Someone must do something. Seriously, this is the first game in season going to be a boring 0-0. Oh, no, wait a minute. McGinn. Wadham. McGinn. Proud. Mariah Welsh. Bounced off. Benny, you. Boof. Oh, also, big news. I forgot to mention this. Um, our captain and now Scottish um, Scotland cap, Paul Hallen, has decided to retire. We here at Edinburgh City like to thank him for all his hard work over the years and we present him with a bunch of followers because we're tight and we can't afford our Rolex. No, in all seriousness, he retired of the season, so. If I was the assistant manager, I'm going for next well. So. I'd love to bring Paul Hanlon back in as assistant manager. Begin to whip it in. Still. Nope. Yeah. I think this is just going to wrap up no no so I do apologise about a no no start to the season. I know it's not the most exciting thing, but hey, we're unbeaten. 
Woo! Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that's been cleared down to us. It's been to still. Who done nothing? Still again. What well done? McGinn. Over the top. Wanjo's picked it up. Wanjo had a slight knock. Zasovic! Oh ho ho. Okay. McGinn. And uh, nope. Okachu. Nope. Whip it down, Wadom. Jusovic. Foul, surely. Ah, it's got a finish nil nil. Pay in. What can I do? Nothing. That's it. No no. Apologies. Apologies for the nil nil. Um, I want you to talk to the lads. And I will see you when we're deciding where we come back. Right guys, I'm thinking for coming back. We'll come back on the 8th of November this time. With a double header against Kilmarnock and Marvel, unless cups or anything change it, but that's what I'm thinking. So, guys, I'll see you in the 8th of November. Thank you for watching me. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed this, apart from the nil nil, but hey, these things happen in life. Um, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter, FM underscore Edinburgh. As always, it's been a pleasure. Namaste. And take it easy, see you later.